The Tarkov province is an ever-changing landscape, and the creatures that inhabit its lands are no different. Whether it be the rise of one species or the fall of another, the prosperity of each population of creatures is ever subject to change. Yet in this episode, we will explore what is perhaps the most resilient organism in Tarkov, the AK user. Come along with me as we explore this creature's evolution from a stout young organism into a tough member of the Chad populations. Among the creatures of Tarkov, the AK user has perhaps the best beginnings. Though not particularly strong, the VPO weapons provide decent protection at short and medium ranges. The AK user is able to eliminate both scabs and low tier PMCs, but the poor modding and low tier ammo that is utilized make the AK users susceptible to long-range attacks or well-equipped players. Many AK users will skip the VPO weapons entirely and begin their journey with the AKS-74U or the AKMS. In this stage, the AK user is most commonly equipped with tier 2 armor, making scavs less of a threat. The AKS-74U sacrifices the medium range capabilities of the VPO in order to provide superior close range performance. Though not ideal, it is still serviceable at medium ranges with light bursts and tap firing. Once again, the AK user is able to defeat low tier PMCs, however the poor weapon modding and low penetration ammo cause well equipped players to remain a persistent threat. In the same stage, the AK user may look to the AKMS. This weapon maintains the medium range capabilities of the VPO, but compared to the AKS-74U, its higher recoil makes it more difficult to land hits. This creature also utilizes tier 2 armor, but the 7.62x39PS ammo provides better performance than its 545 counterpart. As a result, the AKMS user is able to kill opponents wearing medium quality armor. Despite this, the ammo's inability to pierce high tier armor coupled with the higher recoil of this weapon make killing high level PMCs a near impossible task. Though the AK user in this stage has a much better start than other species in Tarkov, they remain vulnerable individuals. In this stage, the AK user upgrades its armor to high quality tier 3 and low end tier 4 armors. This practically nullifies the danger of scavs while dampening the threat posed by low tier PMCs and pistolings. This new armor is accompanied by weapon upgrades as well. 
Once modded, the AKS-74U provides the AK user with a relatively strong weapon early in its evolution. They will abandon the PS round in exchange for the much higher performance of BT. The AKS-74 user is much more effective at close range, as BT ammo is capable of piercing tier 4 armor with relative ease. These weapon upgrades enable the AKS user to compete with higher level players whilst dominating low end PMCs. However, despite the upgrades, the AKS-74U is still not an ideal choice beyond short ranges. To supplement this, the AK user may turn to the AK-74. Though they are sparsely modded, the full-sized AK-74 provides nearly identical close-range performance, whilst remaining capable at medium to long range. Despite the inexpensive nature of their gear, AK users with this weapon are quite capable and should not be taken lightly. On the other hand, the AK user will abandon the AKMS in exchange for the better stats of the fixed stock AKM. In addition to the AKM's superior base stats, it will also be lightly modded, which heavily reduces recoil. Though these upgrades have a large impact, the continual usage of 762 PS ammo causes the AKM to struggle against higher quality armors. As a result, the time to kill a high-end PMC with this weapon is longer than with the 545 variants. However, this weapon is incredibly potent against fully armored enemies. Overall, AK users in this stage are tough individuals, but they remain susceptible to higher tier opponents. Upon entering this stage, the AK user turns from an annoying pest into a genuine threat. They begin to employ high quality tier 4 armor whilst upgrading their arsenal even further. Unlike the previous stage, this AK-74 is heavily modded, with an emphasis being placed on recoil reduction. This stage also brings about the usage of high capacity magazines, and in some cases the usage of optics.
Though some may continue using BT rounds, ammo is commonly upgraded to 545 BS. As a result, the AK user is now able to shred armors of all classes. The new ammo, proper modding, and better armor give this creature a much higher survivability. Similarly to the AK-74, the AKM is now heavily modded, making it much easier to consistently hit targets. In addition, the ammo is upgraded from the inconsistent PS round to armor-piercing BP ammo. This change results in the AKM becoming an incredibly solid weapon at all ranges. AKM users at this level pose a high threat to any individual they come across. Easily the least common of the AK genus, the 556 AK user is an interesting creature. Though they may seem like an inferior version of M4 users, this AK user poses a rather surprising threat. They most commonly use M855A1 rounds and have heavily modified weaponry. The low recoil makes the usage of optics easy and they are the only individuals who use suppressors in the AK family. Though not the strongest individuals in the AK species, they should not be written off, as they are capable of killing metachads with relative ease. The AK users in this stage are rather capable individuals who are able to survive well enough as they are. Despite this, many will continue to adapt and improve, resulting in the apex predators of the AK genus. As with all species in Tarkov, the AK user's evolution culminates into the Chad. At this point, each individual adopts the protection of Tier 5 and Tier 6 armors, making them extremely durable. They tend to adopt much more aggressive instincts, and their focus shifts entirely to killing as many players as possible. The final form of the AK-74 user results in metamodding and the usage of Eagle Neck ammo. By using the best ammo and armor available, the AK user is able to dominate most other individuals in the Tarkov province.
they can be found on every map searching for PvP, which eventually leads them to the winding corridors of labs. They are fierce predators and should be respected, if not feared, by every organism in Tsarkov. Despite the AK-74's reliability and performance, some AK users may choose to use the RPK instead. Individuals who use this weapon also utilize Eagle Neck rounds and display even more aggressive behavior than the AK-74 Chad. The slightly higher rate of fire enables them to push their opponents with greater ferocity, while also decreasing time to kill in ambushes. This aggressiveness results in them sprinting through labs, searching for anything they can kill. They often fight with what can only be described as a hatred for all life forms. The final chad form is the AK-103 user. Similarly to all other chads, they equip their weapons with the best mods available, giving them the strongest possible edge over their opponents. Due to the power of 7.62 ammo, the AK-103 has a slight edge at longer ranges over its chad cousins. The stone-cold reliability of the BP round, accompanied by the strengths of the AK-103, results in a truly formidable creature. With these abilities, it is no surprise that this individual will join its brothers in stomping through labs. 
They are incredible adversaries, enabling them to prosper in the cutthroat lands of Tarkov. Though the lands of Tarkov have seen the rise and fall of many different organisms, the AK user has been able to retain its place in the region. Their strengths and resilience in all environments have resulted in them being prosperous throughout all of the Tarkov province. They continue to adapt to the challenges of their environment and remain versatile creatures in the struggle for Tarkov's resources. They are not the most powerful, they are not the strongest, but they are the most resilient, and they will not be diminishing in this ecosystem any time soon.